But Hoff told me something that always stuck with me. I always want to, I wanted to ask you about because he's obviously such a big deal right now um, in the sport. Did you not bring Khabib to AK in the first place? I did. Yeah, how, tell me that story, he, man. Um, like, I, I never asked, and I, and I knew Hoff always said you brought him to AK. And I've never known how Khabib got to AKA, and now I know it's from you. So, like, what, how, tell me that story. How did that all happen? Well, what happened was I remember the UFC, I believe in Atlantic City or somewhere, Khabib was fighting Kamal Shah Roos. I'm, I'm, I'm familiar with Dagestan, Vladikavkaz, and, you know, all the other places in the Caucasus Mountains of Russia. Because I've been there plenty of times. Right. Been there with Daniel and other people. From Team USA. Yeah. And I saw his last name. I was like, he's from Dagestan. Prior to that, an MMA junkie, I told them, I was like, hey, the next wave of fighters will either be from Cuba or Dagestan. And they're like, Dagestan, where's that? And I'm like, it's in Russia. So it's like Sparta. I was like, all they do is <laughs> fight, man. wrestle, kickbox, something with combat. And they didn't believe me. Well, Habib pops up, beats Kamal Sharus. I know his, I knew his coach at that time, Murad. So when I seen him in strike force, I said, Murad, you know, tell Habib he's to come to AKA. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, he's to come to AKA, man. We have we have a lot of people there. I dropped all the names of you, Fitch, Thompson, everybody. Yeah. Tomas. I was like, we have everybody there. He's like, oh, really? Well, we're doing pretty good, you know, but we'll take your offer up later. Well, guess what happens? The next fight. He's to fight Gleason T-Bow. So they're panicking. They're like, Mo. We don't have enough money to give him the ATT, I mean, AKA right now, but what should we do? So I was like, you know what? Y'all should just fight him hard and try to get him tired because he's a, he's a big 155 pounder. Try to get him tired because he will fatigue. That's what I said. This was years ago. And that's what happened. It was a close fight. And after that fight, I think Habib went by split decision. It was close. After that fight, Habib came to AKA and the rest is history. That's crazy, man. I never knew that. I always knew. Well, I, I found out obviously that you had a part of it, but I never knew how he kind of showed up there. Like he he came sort of late in my career, where I was kind of like, uh, you know, m spending most of my time in Thailand. So I obviously trained with him when I was in town, and he was there. And you know, people just show up in gyms, and then they start training. Like Kane showed up one day, and then next thing you know, he's like on the team, and then and training and fighting and and doing good. So like I never knew kind of what brought him to AK, and I think probably a lot of people didn't know. So it's interesting to to note that you did that, man, and. Uh, and then I think that changed his life uh, for whatever reason. You know, he uh, everything happened for a reason, and uh, he's he's doing quite well for himself <laughs> right now. Yeah, he he didn't change his life, but I feel like he might have changed AKA culture a little bit by yeah. being there, bringing more people in from from his homeland. So he might change a little bit of um, um, AKA culture. Yeah, as well. He, both, they both uh, had a good hand in helping each other out. I don't know. I don't know where he was where he was training at the time, but I think from what it seemed like, he needed that super gym, you know, and like ATT, uh, AKA, you know, uh, obviously Jackson, Militich in the old days. Those are the super gyms. Like he needed one of those gyms to go to that brotherhood and that that old style of like like we all have still, you know, all of our ATT with you now and and AKA and 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 the old Militich back in the old days and and and, and Jackson now. Like th there's like a it's a big group of fighters, you know, the iron sharpens iron, obviously we know that. Um, and then that camaraderie and that family atmosphere, I think that's what really just he, he, why he liked it so much and fit in so well. Yeah. Um, his last, his first team he was at was K dojo. Um, it was, it's there, I believe they're out in New Jersey. Um, a bunch of uh, Russians, good grapplers, a bunch of them, um, some strikers, but it primarily Russians. And yeah, at that time, I don't think Habib had the um, workout partners. Yeah. So that's that's why I came to um, AKA.